he is. is. Charlie Carbs and Cycling. <laughs> All right, how to pace a climb. So very interesting. You can use Strava to help you pace a climb. So as you may know, I did an effort up Doi Calm. I want to get a good time up here. So we all scroll down and have a look at the odd results. I got third, which is a good laugh. 407 watts for 4 minutes and 9 seconds. Paul Van Sweel, 448. He beat me by 17 seconds. And John Epson beat me by 26 seconds. So, you know, to get to move up the rankings, it's going to be very hard. But anyway, we can look, we keep looking down. You can see some good blokes here. He didn't go full gas. He's very fast. 487. Uh, no. Callum Brown, good bloke. Sam McCallum as well. I'll go into his thing. He, he took the wrong way. He actually should have been. He should be, like, third place instead of me. But anyway... So it's quite interesting, the, what you can do is basically use Strava to help you see how you paced, right? So we basically added John Epson, me, Paul Van Sweel, um, this Brandon bloke could add, could add Chris Hurt as well just for the laugh, and Sam because Sam should have been a lot higher up uh, than he actually did because he basically ended up going at this junction, he turned left, went all the way around. So literally timed him from like here all the way around to there. So anyway, poor bloke went the wrong way. So anyway, you can see at the beginning, like we'll play the thing. I'm ahead of everyone, all the same as Chris Hurt. Um, so I'm ahead of John Epson with, in the first 100 meters, which is obviously retarded because there's no way I'm going to be able to get his pace. So again, you can see at 200 meters, I'm the same time as John Epson, uh, ahead of John Epson. Um, wait, do we have Paul on this? Hmm. Oh. And I'm... Hang on a minute. Sorry, we'll go back to the beginning. So anyway, you can see basically I started out way too hard because everyone is slower than me, even though a lot of them got faster time. So here again, John Epson's still one second behind. And you can see here, I've started to see some... T I'm still ahead of everyone. So I'm three seconds ahead of Paul now, two seconds ahead of John Epson, which when you think when they end up, is not good. So even here, Paul just overtakes me with 400 meters. So the first 400 meters, I was well ahead of him, which when you figured out how much time I lost in the second half, was retarded. So I was following Paul's the wheel that, that day when I set this time, and I went out way too hard. So you can see John Epson's now overtaking me, but I'm still ahead of Sam, I'm still ahead of this other bloke. Um, so it's pretty interesting. Anyway, we keep going. Uh, actually, I might get rid of, I'm gonna get rid of, uh, what's this, this random bloke, and add Chris Hurt, because he's got a more similar time to me. Uh, uh, Chris, there we go. Um, so that slightly changes it. But you can see with like 500 meters to go, 500 meters gone, sorry, um, I'm ahead of Chris Hurt and Sam, Sam McCann by two seconds, which is good. But then what you'll see is basically, again, I just went out way too hard. And this helps you figure out because you're like, other people would have ridden this climb a couple times. So we'll go here, John Epson six seconds ahead with like, so we'll go to halfway and figure out. So you can see here from 400 meters to go till about, 700 meters ago. In this 300 meters, I lost a lot of time. So for John Epson, I lost like 14 seconds. And for Paul, uh, we were at the same time. And he's now 13 seconds ahead. So in 400 meters, I lost 13 seconds, which is actually a huge amount. And then you can see after this, after the 800 meters to go, I don't actually end up losing that much time. So I lose five seconds to John Epson over the last 500 meters, which, is, which actually isn't that bad. It's not that bad. It was just from here when he overtook me with like 300 meters until here. I mean, he gained 22 seconds in like 450 meters. So that was really like the steep part. And that you think about it, it's like, that's where everyone goes hard. So if you want to compete, it's best to go hard then and see if you can hang on. Because again, Paul starts 400 meters at the same time. And then by the, basically the summit of this, he's now 12 seconds ahead of me. And then actually Paul's interesting because he, he um, he paced this slightly differently because he went a lot harder at the end. You can see he's gaining time on John Epson all the time, and he's also gaining a lot of time on me. So Sam, again, he was behind and then really sprinted up this part here and made up a lot of time, and then he was basically held the same similar time to John Epson, and then he went the wrong way and lost, like, 20 seconds or more on the very last part. And if we look at Chris Hurt again, Chris Hurt, I went out faster than him. He then, again, overtook me on the real steep stuff because I was just dying on that. And then on this part, he's still a little bit ahead, but at the end, I managed to just take him on the line by a couple of seconds. So for me, in the future, it's for sure, don't go out as hard. Um, yeah, and also go into that corner faster because I only hit it at like 28K an hour. I could hit that at like 40. And like, you might think, oh, that might not make that much difference, but like one or two seconds and you think like, that means that then I wouldn't have to put the same amount of effort and I might still be the same time. Because for the first minute, I did like 500 watts, which let's be honest, <laughs> like up this part, I did like 490 watts 
It's like, come on, mate, there's no way you're going to do that. I should have saved my 490 watt burst from this part here of the climb to that part of there. So from 400 to like 750 meters to go, because that's really where you win or lose the climb on that part there. Uh, and then you just have to hold on and just try and hold as close to 400 from here <laughs> as possible for the end part. Uh, but anyway, there you go. It's pretty interesting using this to pace. You can see how far you've got to go. So in, the, in reality, I've got 17 seconds to close on Paul, 26 seconds to go on Epson. Will I ever get Epson's time? I mean, it's been there for five years, so I don't know, probably not, but I don't know we'll give it a go. And can we get Paul's time again, 17 seconds? It's going to be tough. Uh, maybe I'll be able to get sub four, probably. I'm 409 now, so that should be, shouldn't be too hard, but getting Paul's time and getting John Epson's time, that will definitely be uh, quite tough. But anyway, cheers for watching. I hope this helps you uh, with Strava. If you don't know how to pace a climb or wondering how other people are pacing a climb, very useful. I use this comparison quite often. So anyway, cheers for watching. I'll see you in the next video.